What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it. This episode we get to see more of Kanade, something that I've been very much interested in, but at the same time we're also getting to see what they're putting out for the festival, and it's looking to be quite interesting. Before I continue though guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps out tremendously to the channel, and I would appreciate your support. But let's get to it. So after the whole, I guess you could say, ordeal where we had Kanade actually going off on Yukimura, we see that she tries to revert back to her normal self. And this is where we actually have her, uh, well, we actually have uh, Himaru realizing that this girl really just, it's not herself. She needs to like be herself. And we get a better understanding of how this originated from. From a very young age, she actually had, uh, now we know the full story now, but like she had different interests. She was kind of a more outgoing child. She, she'd play around, you know, she did things that were, I guess some parents would consider un, you know, uncharacteristic of being a girl. So colors that she would like, certain things that she would like, and the things that she would do, you know, like climbing on chairs and whatnot. None of these things were things that her parents were very supportive of, especially her mother. Um, and then, of course, after hearing it for so often, she decided that maybe it was best for her to be different. She became the what the parents wanted her to be, being the great older sister the good scholar, being normal, reading situations in schools, and she would always see like what would it be like for someone that would be outcasted, someone that was slightly different, being made fun of, you know, and she never wanted to be in that position. So her fear of being alone is what led her to being this way. And so we see that during her date with this guy, or Naoya I believe his name was, you know, he wanted to kind of you know have her I guess uh, try something or she required physical strength and like we actually saw the, the scene play out where she would actually do it and like he would be supportive of it but in reality it wasn't like that at all and he explains how he fell in love with her like how he liked her and basically I don't quite care for him I don't think that he's a good fit for her I thought that maybe they were a little bit alike, but in reality, they're not. In fact, we actually see that this guy, you know, he wasn't a great student. He just wasn't all that great in general, uh, and he had trouble with school, you know, and he just kind of admires her. You know, she is beautiful in her own way, don't get me wrong, I think that she's a great character, but I don't think that this is something that would work between the two of them, just my thoughts. But we then get to see what the whole group is now on, which is the festival. And they're trying to present what would be the best project for this. And Yukimura just kind of takes it completely because he wants to create kind of like this cosplay, romantic kind of thing where couples can, you know, do fun things. He uses Himuro as an example, which apparently she took pictures as in, in a bunch of cosplays. She is embarrassed beyond belief, but she loves how he's giving her all these compliments and all that. So it's kind of like a, you know, give or take kind of situation. You either get, take these compliments or you just kind of like, you know, I get her and I understand, you know, what he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to convey his point through examples. And we slowly see how like everyone else, like Kosuke and Ibaradam, are slowly joining in on this as well as Kanade but then Kanade we actually start seeing how she is thinking about you know can this be as fun in the festival you know and we have Yukimura of seeing this you know they have been very awkward with each other they don't actually speak very much but we see that he notices this and then by the end of the episode we actually have him calling Chris which was something that I thought was very surprising. Like, why would he have called her, uh, called him out of the blue? But whatever this is, it's probably going to be something relating to Kanade or helping Kanade. But we shall see. 
But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like. As always, stay safe.